dearly beloved, we have gathered on this lovely autumn evening in this holy place to celebrate the love that Meredith and William share, to celebrate as hard as we can, to laugh, to toast, to dance, to make memories that we will call upon for as long as we live. much to everybody here. All of us are feeling something. Friends are thrilled to see their friends at this altar together. Family are excited to watch their clans double before their very eyes this afternoon. We senior adults, we look back on your day with a misty eye toward our own and pray for all the joy we know lies before you. She's an art teacher. She has developed a passion for art. Well, I've not seen that kind of passion from her, except when she's been with we. You can tell she loves William very much. William, they, they say the eyes are the window to the soul. I can tell by the way throughout the years of how you look at Meredith that you love her very much. And as a father, I appreciate that. And I appreciate the way that you have treated her throughout this time. These two won the lottery when they found each other. And that's worth celebrating. Come rain, shine, summer, winter, good days, bad days, and days that just are. You two will be together. We all love you. And we will all surround your journey like cheerleaders of varying beauty. And we are here. And we'll be there for you. But much, much more than that, know that God himself is there. I, William, take you, Meredith, to be my wedded wife. I, Meredith, take you, William, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish, till we are parted by death. This, this is, is my solemn vow. Mr. William Carter, may I introduce you eight years to the day later to Mrs. Meredith Carter. You may kiss your bride. 